What's up, y'all? It's Jonathan Rollins. I'm back with another reaction to a Swedish classic. Before we get started, I want to remind you about my comedy club, The Laugh House. Go to thelaughhouse.se. Keep up what we have going on. We're going through an expansion pretty soon. So you're going to see us go from our small room upstairs to a bigger room downstairs at another location from Central Station, Stockholm, to her Toriet, things are happening. So come out and laugh with me, be a part of it, and say hello if you come to the show. I've also got some podcasts. I have Sova Hender, Teach Me Sweden, and Perfecta Partit. Those are available wherever you get your podcasts. And look out for me in the spring. I'll be, I'll be performing in Stockholm, at Mafia, at Raw. I'll be in Gotland. I'll be coming back to Gothenburg and Malmö. You can keep up with all of my travels and all of my dates at bashdaddyentertainment.com. So now for today's classic. Today I'll be reacting to Hum Hum from Hum Ligorn by Ragnar Borgedal. When I think of Hum Ligorn, I think of one of my first nights out. I was here, just moved to Sweden, and the, my friend was playing some music at Hum Ligorn. And I was like, cool, man, go to this spot and it's an outdoor like club vibe it was trendy and cool and i remember that i saw two guys making out and i was like i have arrived in progressive sweden but i had a good time i remember one dude had a dolphins hat on so that's cool shout out to the miami dolphins i felt like they gave me a connection to humigor so maybe i'll have a connection to this song we'll find out soon a little bit about the song it was released in 1974 on an album of the same name there's no chart information from when the song originally came out, but I'm thinking it made some sort of impact because, fun fact, Lars Wienerbeck and Holvit did a cover of this song in 2003, and it found itself on the Swedish charts for 32 weeks, peaking at the number four spot. Talk about a revival, right? Despite that fact, the original Ragnar Borgendahl's version is the one that was suggested for this project. Nobody's suggested, as far as I've seen, the Lars Wienerbeck version. Ragnar Borgendahl was from the Prague movement that I learned about once I started this project. I've liked what I've heard from that movement so far, so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna like this. Mr. Borgendahl seems like quite the modest fellow from what I read. I read that he was minding his business, playing a little music, and then his tape got discovered, and it led to two studio albums in 1974 and 1976. And then in 1979, he called it quits, started his own little video shop, and just rode off into the sunset from there. And then we fast forward to the early 2000s, Lars Winnebeck does this cover, and then people want to check out the original, so a whole nother generation gets to discover the song by Ragnar Borgendahl. That's a wholesome story for a classic, and I'm excited to hear it. I'm gonna guess it goes something like, whom, whom, from whom le gone? Hum, hum, from whom they go. Hum, hum, from whom they go. Hum, hum, from whom they go. <laughs> That's it. It's time to check it out, man. See how close I am <laughs> to, the, to the real deal. I got the lyrics right here so I can read along as I listen, and uh, here we go. Hum, hum, from whom they go. By Ragnar Borgedal. Home, home. 
I like the folky feel to this, man. It's got just such a nice, uh, <laughs> it's like a, something you hear in like a soundtrack of a movie that spans over decades. That's the way I feel like it just uh, adapts to uh, storytelling or something like that. Let's keep going. I'm really digging it. I like the groove of the song. Uh, I got a little bit lost somewhere in that verse, uh, but I'm still uh, trucking along, trying my best to understand everything, and uh, it's still good, man. At, at some parts, I feel like he's uh, he's preaching a little bit, like almost like a missionary, <laughs> but I know that's not what it is. But what group is he trying to get him to join? Is it like I'm wondering? Is it the is it the band? Is it just like come jam with us? I don't know, but let's keep going. That was Home, Home from Home Legorn by Ragnar Borgedal. The end of it sounded a little bit like a battle rap to me. <laughs> like he's going at him a little bit like, man, y'all clowns up there, man, y'all ain't doing nothing. Nobody feeling you, no emotions in your thing. I, I did like that. Uh, the battle rapper of me was uh, could identify with that. But really good, the vibe of it, it felt so nice. You know what it felt like a little bit? It made me think about like, um, for some reason, like barbecue chicken and potato salad. I don't know why that was in my head, but it made me feel like 
just having this on in the background while I get a plate and fill it up with like some potato salad and some nice barbecue chicken with some good sauce on it. And then lightly toasted bread. It's very important. Barbecue. The barbecue heads know what I'm talking about. So the next time I have a barbecue, this song is gonna be playing in the background. This song, which by the way, I like to designate as a mild banger. Yes, I didn't follow well enough to call it a certified, full on, 100% banger, but it's definitely a mild banger because the vibe was right, the way he sang it was nice, the music behind it, it felt almost like a jam out. Uh, it never had the, the rise that I'm used to getting, the big buildup that I'm used to getting from these songs, but this was kind of just like a, a nice jam. It had that feel, like I said, of you could hear it in, a, in a, a movie over decades. The type of stuff I like. Speaking of stuff I like, if you know some songs you think I'm gonna like, then put them in the comments. Some classics, some Swedish music. Let me know what you want me to check out. And if you see some suggestions that you think are good, and yeah, he should check this out then go ahead and like it. The more likes, the more likely I am to add it to the ever-growing list. Don't forget to like, subscribe, get notifications, and all that jazz. And most importantly, spread the word. Let people know about this American comedian living in Sweden, reacting to classic Swedish music. We're gonna keep this train rolling, as I like to say. The next song I'll be reacting to, I'm guessing is in English. The song's called Not Forever, and it's by Popsicle. So I'm guessing it's gonna be a pop song and uh, the band name Popsicle, I'd love to find out what the origin of that is, or artist name, whatever, we'll see. Let me know what you think about that song, the next song coming up, or uh, if you've heard it before, if you don't think it's a classic, if you think it's a great classic, if you think I'm gonna like it, let me know. If you think I'm gonna hate it, let me know. I'm curious. Until then, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next classic. Peace.